gave you a miracle and here you are today with your hands lifted here you are today clapping your hands here you are today giving God praise here you are today magnifying God and you need to tell yourself if the Lord brought me from that door before if the Lord brought me through that door before if the Lord sustained me before he's able to do it again lean on somebody and tell them he's able to do it again he's able good God almighty he's able to do it again he's able so I'm going to talk of his goodness I'm going to talk of his works I'm going to praise God I'm going to declare his wonders among the people that's what you got to do if you want to keep a sound mind Talk about his miracles. Talk about his wonders. Talk about his acts. Talk about his greatness. Talk about how God he is. Talk about him as Jehovah Shalom. Talk about him as Jehovah Nisha. Talk about him as Jehovah Roha. Talk about him as Jehovah Stikinu. Talk about him. Talk about how mighty he is. Tell yourself he is a mighty God and I serve him yes I do another way to keep a sound mind is you've got to be renewed in the spirit of your mind I hear him in Romans chapter 12 and verse 2 and he said be not conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind you got to think different you got to see different you got to get a different mindset. Some of you allow people to mess up your mindset. You walking around church. You walking around the world. All negative. Now I said this on Wednesday night and it's worth repeating. Never I seen a day. I know we did it in the old church but we're doing it in this day that everybody in the church when you come to church living for the Lord. Folk got you walking around on pins and needles like God's getting ready ready to kill you every step you take but God said I've got good thoughts of you and not evil thoughts I've got good thoughts I'm going to bring you to an expected end I want to tell you when he gets a new mindset when I get up in the morning I get up praising God and say Lord thank you because this is the day that the Lord has made and I will rejoice and be glad you got to be renewed in the spirit of your mind he tells us in Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 23 I want to do y'all want me to preach he tells us in verse 23 and be renewed in the spirit of your mind how do you keep a sound mind get a new mindset look at somebody and tell them get a new mindset Get a new mindset. Start thinking different. Get a new mindset. Change the way you think. Amen. Get a new mindset. Tell yourself, I'm not looking to have an accident. I'm not looking to kill over. I'm not looking to die. I'm not looking for tragedy. But I'm looking for blessings. And I'm looking for miracles. I'm not looking for negative happening around me. But I'm looking for God to bring me through. I'm looking for God to bring me out. I'm looking for God to help me. I'm not looking. I'm going to change my mindset. Some of you ladies change your mindset. Amen. Stop letting people dictate to you in an unsound time. If you want to lose weight, do it because you want to. If you want to lose weight, do it because you want to be healthy. But don't kill yourself trying to please people because they put these small people on the TV and make you to feel that the only way you can get a husband is you got to be a stick but tell the devil you a line wonder I don't have to be a stick to get no husband somebody wants plumpness somebody wants something they can hold on to somebody wants something y'all think will help me preach 
preacher yeah and you got to tell yourself change your mindset change the way you think amen don't kill yourself don't starve yourself to death God's got somebody that wants you just the way you are they want you with your nose they love your lips just the way they look they'll take your feet they'll take your hands just the way you are yes so change your mindset change it amen get your hair if you don't have enough go buy you a piece if you don't have enough go get a weed go get a sewing go get a wig put it on style it dress yourself up and tell yourself I'm not gonna lose my mind trying to please people but I I'm fearfully and wonderfully made and I'm gonna praise him and give him glory just like I am lean on somebody and tell them be renewed in the spirit of your mind yes yes Yeah, I'm helping somebody here. Be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Well, I got the clothes here. Be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Look at somebody and tell them now it's time to do something for yourself. Tell them it's time to live for yourself. Mm -hmm. it's time amen to keep a sound mind live for yourself you've tried to please everybody else now live for yourself some of you ladies schedule it this week schedule it next week take some money out of your paycheck some of you ladies if you're married grab your husband and tell him next week or either this week I'm going to get a pedicure I'm going to get a manicure I'm going to get a massage I'm going to fix myself up I'm going amen I'm gonna change the way I think I'm gonna change the way I am some of you men go do something for yourself go get a good haircut go treat yourself tell yourself I got to keep a sound mind there's enough trouble go on around me but I'm purpose in my heart I'm not gonna let it affect my mind but I I'm gonna keep my mind stayed on him I'm gonna keep my mind I'm gonna be renewed in the spirit of my mind it's an unsound day but how do you keep a sound mind you got to learn to praise him in the midst of everything you got to learn to praise him in the midst of trouble I don't care what's going on you got to praise him in the midst of it all you got to tell yourself I will praise the Lord I will praise him in spite of what happens so I don't have money but I still got praise I don't have what I need but I still got praise I'm going to praise him until money come I'm going to praise him until he do something huh? I'm gonna praise him huh? to glory come huh? I'm gonna praise him huh? until he provides huh? so I'm gonna praise him huh? some of you got to learn huh? that's what your problem is huh? the reason your mind huh, is in trouble huh, is because you let the enemy huh, steal your praise huh? but you remember huh, when you were praising God huh, in the midst of trouble huh? he kept you lifted huh, when you were praising God huh, in the midst of danger huh? he kept you lifted huh? so tell yourself huh? I, I'm going back huh, to praising God huh? I'm going back huh, to giving him glory huh? yes I am huh? I'm going to praise him huh? in spite of huh? I'm